Hello and welcome to my shop. This is Jim Dedman, Sawlogs Plastic Hubs. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, we'll be doing something interesting. So uh, hang around. Let's have fun. Okay, today's video, um, I made this a while back and you've, you've seen the video where I cut the tapers and everything, the double boost inspired center drill holder. And a couple of my sharp-eyed viewers realized that, said that this center drill was a little loose. It was. When you went to drill in the steel, it would walk off a of center. So basically, I had to repair it. And so what I've done today is made a video showing how I repaired my center drill holder and the steps I had to do to fix it. So hope you enjoy today's video. And I don't know if I even turned the thing on. Basically, what I'm doing right now is boring this out. This tool I made once, but with the amount of slop in it, there was about 20 of slop in it. And the noise you're hearing is just that interrupted cut and that little boring bar. I'm boring this out to about 800 thousandths or so. And I'm going to put a bushing in it. And I'm going to bush it. I'm going to press the bushing in and lock tight it. And then I'm going to bore the bushing. I'm going to drill the bushing and get it pre close. And then I'm going to let it lock tight up and press it in. And then I'm going to basically uh, bore it to size again. Okay, I bored it out now. It's just a little bit over three quarters of an inch. And it's so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to go outside and get us a piece of steel, and we're going to turn it down to make to make mate this, and give us a little better look in here so it'll press too. Okay, now we're we're going to drill this out. The, the plan is simple. I'm going to drill this bushing out. And um, this is one size smaller than a half. And then we're going to ream it, and then we're going to put it in a. Then we're going to put it in a in a in a arbor, and we're going to turn the OD down. Two fit in the other and then I'll face everything off by doing it this way I'll get the bore where I want it and uh, so that's what we're doing we're going we're going to through drill it completely because this piece is just a little bit longer. What we're going to do is we're going to lock tight and press this in. When we get this pressed together, then we're going to come back and just face it off to the size we need. And uh, hopefully this is going to solve a problem with that. I should have reamed it anyway. I'm pretty sure it's a half inch, and I need to mic this before. I couldn't be screwing up right now, so let me, I'm pretty sure this is a half. This is a setup I've came up with. I've got my arbor, and I got it between centers so I can support it. And right now I'm at about 860, and I need seven, I need seven, I think it's 790 or something like that from my calculations. Yeah, because I'm going to get closer. I'll double check all this. Yeah. So, it, so we're going to, uh, what we're going to do is can't take much because this arbor don't hold a lot. We're going to go down like 20 thousandths at a time make feed rates. So I'll show you a pass of the setup here. And that's basically, yeah, I don't have 
that these light cuts with the inserts that I'm using, we don't get the greatest chip control, but it's, it'll be all right. I'm using a, a DNMG tool because I have to have that DNMG to get in between everything. And I'm only taking like a 10,000, or basically a, a 10,000 per side cut. To, and then I'm back feeding just like boring because I'm taking all the tool pressure off because I want this to fit exactly the way I want it to fit. So when I get down there closer, I want this to be about a thousandth oversized and we're going to lock tight and press it in. All right. So that's what we've got. Okay, we're going to see what happens. Here we got everything figured out like it's supposed to be. And we should be able to press this with no problem. But we will see. If all my measurements are right, this should just press without any problem. A couple thousands press fit. And I, put, I took a file and I chamfered it just a bit. I put some Loctite on it. Just let it work itself on. Now it should have it should bottom out here pretty quickly. I don't know how much I got. There, there it is. It bottom. That's the bottom right there. All right. There we go. I tell you, that's handy. That's the best sixty dollars I ever spent, folks. So I'm gonna press here. Let me get you up here. Now all I gotta do is machine this off. And we're good to go. There we go. Now there's the completed repair. Now all I gotta do is drill it. Now I'm just gonna take the drill press here and line it up on the two holes. And I'm just gonna go through here with this and re-thread it off camera and that'll finish repairing this and we're gonna give it a test boy this isn't nothing fancy since everything's already done for me i'm just gonna line it up right here in a, in a v block and just drill these holes right out just like that right to the bush and i may have to take the uh when i get done tapping i may have to go in there and uh um, take the reamer and run it in it once I get done tapping and knock the burrs out of it. I mean, there are several ways one could do this, and the truth about it is, I got a little hurry there. Sometimes you get in a hurry there, but there are several ways you could do this. But I chose to do it this way. You could have turned this and got it close and pressed it and done it and maintained. But by turning on arbor, I'm close enough and run out. Let me get on that. Uh, while I'm getting this tap, you know, I just got that right there in my vise. And uh, something I just wanted to mention, and uh, I know that Ray Cornelia, how it raised garage, subscribed to the channel. We, I comment and watch his videos quite often. And here recently, he's been, he picked up Wealth and Vice and doing some fine work to restore a piece of junk. And uh, so the one of the things that I told, sent to him, he was talking about doing the grass jaws and some of the work he had done. This is just a little old cheap vice that I use, and I've mentioned it several times. If you go back and look through my videos, if you had not already seen it, I machined it with some V's in it and stuff. And, and, and this is the stuff I use it for right here. It's perfect chop. And another thing, you heard me talk about all my little oil cups, and this is another one of them. And I said, well, I needed, I always have to have one on the bench. And the pill, take a pill bottle like this and make you one. And this is why, because if you have it right here in the bench, I say I don't have to be real picky because I've already got the holes in it threaded. So all I'm doing is following the original threads down because I've already did this. So 
this is not the rocket science and you know this is just because I, I just made a mistake and I, I really ought to know better than try to drill a hole and put something in it so and I know a viewer or two of mine said something about it being sloppy and I really didn't think it's gonna make that much difference till I got the drilling in steel with it and it would float around something awful but there was probably a good 20,000 slack in it so so this is just a quick repair and I don't know where I'm gonna do this I, I don't know how this is gonna come out in video we'll just have to see I'm gonna face this piece of threaded rod off that I've got out in the junk pile and we're gonna see what we're gonna have the thrill of victory or the agony of defeat here in just a second okay so we're gonna bring this right up let's just see if it walks or it drills it drills perfectly that was what was wrong with it. So there it is. That's the thrill of victory, not the agony of defeat. So I consider my repair of my little mistake all done. So, uh, you know, every time you make one, the sharp-eyed viewer mentioned it, and I kind of haven't brought it up because I've noticed it too. Because the first time that I used this tool, I drilled in plastic, and I didn't drill in in, in, in uh, steel the first time I put her in steel I discovered it so basically this drill just as I say double boost inspired center drill holder is now repaired with a proper bushing in it now you know I, I'm not going to do my other ones but the only reason that like I said in the earlier video the only reason I've done this is I got a couple of these center drills that came from Eaton and they use these in shafts down there and they're pretty big and the way the flats are designed in them it's real hard to grab them in a drill chuck so I mean I could have used my ER system but I just wanted to do it and do the taper turn too so now I've got it right now I should have ringed this to begin with my fault we're not blaming no dude in a clown suit it's just plain my do doing and falling back in it so it's fixed now with the bushing and a little extra machine work and it's all said and done so with that being said i hope you enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed the video so uh let's put this disclaimer out of the way this video is my idea how to do things. It's not uh, uh, the only way. So I hope you enjoyed it today. The other thing, comments are always welcome. Please take the time if you feel so inclined to make a comment on my videos. Also, I appreciate all my subscribers, the new ones and the new ones. And finally, the other disclaimer. This is a copyrighted production of James Dedman, Saw Logs Plastic Hubs, for your enjoyment on YouTube. Thank you. Have a great day and we will see you in the next video.